day 809. Charlie and I made it to the park. What are we doing today, Charlie? We are volunteering at a race. Volunteering at a race. It's a dog shelter race. So, hoping to help out. Possibly walk away with a dog if they have one. I know. Maybe if they have a Dalmatian, yeah. Okay, she's gonna request for a <laughs> Dalmatian. We'll see what happens, but no guarantees. We're hitching a ride to our little water stop. And I'm going to lead on the bike, so I'll have all the leaders going around. So you'll just be standing there basically making sure people are... They'll have bibs, but everybody's got the same bib. Charlie's all smiles, but she broke the table. <laughs> I did! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, here's what we got. Just a water station. We're gonna come out this way, head up the canal, come back, go on Charlie's side. Charlie's got Gatorade. Gatorade on this side, water on this side. Good morning. Good morning. And then come in all, and then gonna go back down, all the way back, then head back in. And that's us, we're at the water station, so. Gonna try to keep up with the demand. Worst case comes to worst, we're just gonna start throwing water at people. Like a little sprinkler. Okay, we're not doing that. Just kidding. There they go. Coming this way, Charlie. To your water stations. Hours later. Almost done. Wrapping up. Got a trash can full of cups. People went through them pretty quick. So it's kind of nice. Now we're just kind of guiding people in. We changed the water stop from this side, from this side to this side. Help people follow the trail in. Keep up the good work, you guys. You're almost finished. Yep, we're at a quarter mile left. Got a few more runners coming in. Charlie and I are going to have a little contest. Some extra water and Gatorade. We're going to see who chugged the most right now. You want to do five cups, ten cups? What, what's, the, what's the wager here? Hmm, five cups. First to finish five cups? First to finish five cups. Get Starbucks? Get Starbucks. Lose the rest to pay? You. You're still paying. I got to pay either way. <laughs> <laughs> Test. Charlie's five cups, my five cups, all have water, that way it's fair. Wait, I have six. We'll go five. Oh. Put one back. <laughs> I'll make it easy on you, Danny. Okay. Alright. I'll let you go on your count. Three, two, one. Winner, winner. He cheated. Charlie's buying me chicken for dinner. I oh, know you're still paying. I don't like that idea. It's, I think it's the best idea that Albert and I sent ever into. Okay, well, that was the last runners. We just had someone from the other water station come in and say, hey, that was the last runner. We cleaned up. We're walking back in. The truck broke down. So that's why we had a little contest. We waited for everyone to come in and then just. Didn't want to waste the water and Gatorade. But we're gonna clean up here. They said leave everything here. 
maybe take the water jugs in, so we'll take those, but leave the tables and trash here. And we're gonna call it a day from here, so signing off from the... And David gives me some McDonald's french fries and some Starbucks. When was that ever part of the deal? That was never part of the deal. I said Starbucks. I said I'd get it at Starbucks. And Whataburger Frank. I, okay, she's making things up now. We made it out to, it's been called early lunch. But we all had a good day. Jennifer had a great run. She's showing off her food. Whole platter. Charlie's got her burger. She's loading up. I'm ready to eat. But we even got our favorite server, Alan, so. Makes the experience here at Chili's all the more better. So we're gonna enjoy some food now. Getting ready to do my run for the night. I was waiting a little bit for the Chili's food to go down. Took a nice little nap after Chili's. We went to go and go and gondola for some shoes and stuff. Came back, took a nap, got up, watched the Suns game. Suns game didn't go well. But it's the first game, the second round. So hopefully they can sit down, figure out another game plan, come back, do a little better. But doing the late run right now. And then I'm gonna head to the gym. I'm gonna finally check that out. I'm excited for that. And tonight's run's gonna be a little shakeout. Achilles is feeling a little bit tight for some reason, so tighter than normal. So, I'm just going to do an easy three miles, not push the pace at all. Go from there. Alright, halfway done with the run. 1.6 in. Felt we're halfway. But, running's going nice and easy. First mile is 8.11. And, I'm probably just under 8 right now. Just trying to keep it relaxed. Keep an eye on that Achilles. Don't want to stress it out too much. And tomorrow morning's plan is to run 10 to 12 miles. So in 10 hours, we're doing the long run. So don't need to push today. Just need to get the run in to keep the streak alive. Mile two, 7:45. Feeling a little better. Legs are coming back around. Not too much stress. And got the light on for safety. Just cruising by. Doing the serpentine run. Just because I did the other run a couple times this week. So trying to keep the variety going. Keep the head on. Staying focused. Oh, honestly, got a little worried I was gonna forget the run today. I got up, thought I could possibly squeeze in a quick run before the 5k. Didn't happen. And then, just I think mentally saying, Oh, you were at the 5k this morning. Made me think, I don't consciously think, I need to run at some point. I'm gonna mentally think that I already did. Because I was at a 5k, I didn't participate in it, besides handing out water, so keeping it going, so keeping it going, still getting the runs, and as much as I can, trying to do better about planning them out, so I can stick to the schedule, but I'm happy to to get the run in regardless. That's what counts right now. I think in the summer that'll officially change. It'll need to be morning runs. Strictly morning runs. There may be a bonus run in the evening. Assuming it's not over 110. Finishing the run. Mile three. 731. A short ways to go, maybe 100 meters left. But 
It's fine. Unless there's nothing wrong with adding in a little extra mileage. As long as it's feeling easy. Not too taxing. Plus, I didn't want to walk back. I'm already in a rhythm. So, just gonna keep it rolling. And we're done. Special time, 24.40 for 3.17 miles. And this was my attempt at the free run treadmill. First attempt, never tried it before. It's called the free run treadmill because it's self-powered. Here you go. Welcome to the new gym. This was the free run bike I was trying. It, I don't know about it yet. That's the first time I've ever used it. And you definitely have to push your pace on it. It's uh, you have to get it going. Whereas like a treadmill, it just does it for you, and you're just pacing, even going. Whereas this one, you have to keep continuously push, 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 and you can feel the difference. I think after coming off a run too, it. it I don't even know if it equates to a run. It's definitely a whole new thing. I get it, I understand it. And the curve, the natural curve in there, is supposed to simulate more of a run. It's supposed to be better for your knees and joints. And help you kind of roll through your stride, which I get, but I don't know, still working on it. We'll keep playing around with it just for fun. Here's the other treadmills. Looks like you can log in to this new company. It? It's all part of this echelon group. And then there's a stair stepper for it. And this looks fun too. Almost a, almost a road bike. Probably equivalent to your Peloton. Something like that. I haven't played around with it yet. I'm going to sign in. Probably throughout the week and just mess around with it and see how it feels. But clearly you need to work on. So I'm guessing your trainer's gonna pop up here. There you go. There's a good demo. Shows the trainer, the trainer's talking to you. And then we got the free weights that look like the same. A little stretching thing for pretty much the back of your side of your legs, a little bit of the arms. And then this, the Smith machine, which we were kind of working on the other day. And then the TRX. Which is always fun and good way to get into a different kind of workout. Almost, almost calisthenics, right? So just body weight without the free weight motion, and definitely gets both arms work. It gets both arms a good workout. And here's what I think is kind of. I mean, I need to sign in again. But as soon as you sign in, I think it brings up a list of different programs you can do either with yoga or 20 minute abs or upper body, full body workout kind of thing. So we'll look at that a little later. Oh, nice, cleaned out, the machines are new, so could be kind of fun to come in here once in a while. I think we're gonna mess around with the machines a little bit and do a little lifting. Charlie and Jennifer are getting a little bit of lifting in. A little bench today, get the arms going. I like it. Show us your ab. Crank him out, crank him out. 
Keep the abs tight. There you go. All right, we signed up. It's loading. What the heck? Try it again. Hi, everyone, family. Welcome to your 30th Body Bar Burn. My name is Marie. All you're going to need today is a set of lighter weights that went with a pair of threes and eight weights if you have them. Matt, to a water, of course, and to a lot of work. done with the workout for tonight. Thank you for the flower. We're headed in. We're gonna rinse off. Call it a night. Okay. It's one life with health and happiness. Have a good night. <laughs>